I'm Susan Harrow of PRSecrets.com, and we're here tonight with Ginny Breland, fifth Don, and we're talking about, oh, we're at Bamerin Aikido and Katadi Aikido, and we're talking about um, Aikido advice for women and a few men, and here's Ginny. Hi, tonight I want to talk about um, how difficult Iwama style Aikido is creating movement from a static technique. So when we do have movement, it's a little bit easier in that you have something to work with. When we're doing static technique in Iwama style, we're just standing perfectly still, we have to create motion so that we can move. And for a smaller person, this is a rather challenging thing. So if he is here, and he's a, he's a bigger guy than me, so um, if I could get stuck here, um, trying to move his body, unless I use my own body against his bicep. So I'll, I'll impinge into a space, okay, and I'll cause him to lean back so he'll want to lean forward. And when that happens, my hip will turn back, and the door will open, and that's the technique. Okay. So if we just have one connection here and I push, this isn't going to accomplish it. So I'm going to go into his center, roll up into his key here. And draw him out and do the rest of the technique. I also have to have enough room for my sword so that the sword will give you the space that you need to be able to not be bound by your biceps. So here with Pete, when he holds here, my sword will come up and meet him center line. He'll push against this, the sword will yield, I'll be able to cut and throw him. So the sword helps me with my expansion and connection with him. So you can connect um, just to his arms, or you could really try to connect to his center. If you bother to connect to his center, it's a little bit easier on him and a little bit easier on you. But that connection is something that just is easier said than done. A lot of the times, we'll just connect to an arm. So. This is connecting to the arm, not to the center. This is connecting to the center. So you want to cause his body to cant and get a reaction from him, causing forward motion. Okay. The difference between bothering to go that far with your uke and really try to pick up his body to bring him along as opposed to pulling him along. So in, in our regular daily lives, we can connect with people on the surface or we can decide to go a little bit deeper, spend a little bit more time, engage with them, and pick them up from their center. I, I see this as, as the dynamic in Aikido as well, the relationship that's unspoken. So it's, there's no words here, but we're trying to see how far we can engage our uke, how much connection we can create, not just by pulling, but pull, drawing from the center of the person and bringing him to us. And, that's the hardest part probably about static technique, Iwama style technique, but um, if you're a smaller person, think about picking up the center, think, think about connecting to the body, they'll be a little bit more successful and use your sword. Thank you, Sensei.